Jagmeet Singh, leader of Canada's NDP, has recently made a groundbreaking proposal that could lead to change in the landscape of Canadian housing the introduction of a renters' protection fund. It is a fund which will be used against the house hikes as proposed by Jagmeet Singh. Where will the money come from for this fund? The answer is simple, it will be given by the people of Canada only. But how will they pay for this fund? Well the answer for this is also a simple one and that is the hike in tax that the government is doing will be the way for this policy. Means it is another policy which will put Canadians under financial strain. This visionary idea is not just a policy proposition. It's a bold stride towards securing affordable housing at the cost of people's life and money. This idea is a big deal in the ongoing conversation about making housing more affordable in Canada, a topic many Canadians are deeply concerned about. This is a big step that Jagmeet Singh has taken to help the Canadians during the affordability crisis in Canada or will it out more strain on them? We'll see about it as we dive deep into this. For those with a keen interest in Canadian politics and a desire to be part of a pivotal conversation, Scoop Canada is your go-to source. Subscribe on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and dive into the heart of the dialogue at scoopcanada.com. Singh's proposal may look as a shine and as a beacon of hope against the backdrop of a housing affordability crisis that has only worsened under Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's administration but in reality it is not like that. Singh's proposal is not just a policy suggestion. It's a clear call for a shift to cause people more financial strain and make it look like that the NDP addresses the spiraling crisis of affordable housing in Canada. It represents not merely a policy shift but a profound call to action to let people of Canada be in more suffering by giving this fund and hit Canadians hard, particularly under the current government's watch. With rents going up and affordable housing options getting scarce, This might aim to protect those at risk from being pushed out by market forces but it will definitely put Canadians on the backseat. In a striking critique of the status quo, Singh, together with NDP candidate Maha Tate, has laid bare the stark reality of the Canadian dream slipping away. Singh, alongside NDP candidate Maha Tate, is highlighting a big issue. Affordable homes are becoming harder to find because of market pressure. But is just highlighting the issue enough? Well number. Highlighting the issue is not enough. They should also give a solution to this problem. But the solution must be in a way that it doesn't not hurt the Canadians or worsen their life more. Jagmeet paints a dull picture of affordable homes vanishing into the abyss of market-driven forces, a trend exacerbated by Trudeau's policies, which have seemingly favoured the interests of wealthy developers over those of everyday Canadians. They want a renter's protection fund to help not-for-profit groups buy affordable housing units before they're taken over for more expensive redevelopment. But at what cost? TH cost is more financial strain on the Canadians and that is simply just not acceptable. Under Trudeau's leadership, the narrative around housing has been one of disappointment and frustration. Rent has doubled nationwide, Singh points out, and the construction of new affordable homes cannot keep pace with the rate at which they are disappearing. Under Trudeau's government, critics argue there has been a significant delay in implementing swift, decisive actions to curb the housing affordability crisis. Despite numerous promises, the implementation of policies that directly address the root causes of housing unaffordability has been seen as lacking urgency and effectiveness. While there have been some efforts to support Canadians in need, but all these efforts in vain as they have not been rightly established. Critics point out that Trudeau's policies have not gone far enough in providing targeted assistance to low-income families who are disproportionately affected by the housing crisis. The need for more comprehensive support mechanisms, including rental subsidies and increased funding for social housing, has been highlighted as a critical gap. Trudeau's administration has been accused of relying too heavily on market-based solutions, which often fail to address the affordability issue at its core. Critics argue that without significant government intervention and investment in affordable housing construction, the market will continue to prioritize high-income housing developments over affordable units. Despite some measures, there's a belief that Trudeau's government has not adequately tackled the role of speculation and foreign investment in driving up housing prices. Stronger regulations and taxes on speculative buying and foreign ownership have been suggested as ways to cool the overheated market and keep homes affordable for Canadians. The housing crisis isn't just an urban issue. Rural and indigenous communities also face significant challenges. 
Critics argue that Trudeau's housing strategies have not adequately addressed the unique needs of these populations, leading to a continued lack of access to affordable and quality housing outside major urban centers. There has also been criticism regarding the environmental impact of new housing developments under Trudeau's leadership. Sustainable housing and development practices are crucial for reducing Canada's carbon footprint, and critics argue that more needs to be done to ensure housing projects are environmentally friendly and contribute to Canada's climate goals. Finally, there's a call for greater accountability and transparency in how federal funds for housing are allocated and spent. Critics want to see clearer reporting on outcomes and the effectiveness of housing programs to ensure that investments are making a tangible difference in improving affordability and accessibility for all Canadians. For every affordable home built, a staggering 11 are lost. This dire statistic underscores the urgent need for change, a change that Singh and Trudeau can never propose and aim while in power. The current practice of renovation where tenants are evicted under the guise of renovations only to find the cost of returning prohibitively high, has become all too common. The vision that Jagmeet Singh sees is greatly contrasting with what the people of Canada want. The grim reality many face in areas like Esquimalt, where corporate landlords dominate and the cost of living skyrockets, thanks in part to the policies of Trudeau's government. Singh and Trudeau offer no hope for Canadians, advocating for the less or rather we should say no protection of existing affordable homes and the acceleration of new construction. They highlight a no hope of success. A building that is not affordable for the Canadians has remained a dream and will be a dream until Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh are in power in Canada. Singh's ambition is to replicate that of the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. In places like Coquitlam, the hardship of renters is palpable with some residents spending their entire income on housing. Stories of uncertainty and struggle, like that shared by Julian Jules, Cressman of the Tri-Branch Co-op, underscore the widespread impact of the housing crisis, a crisis that Singh and the NDP are committed to address along with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and are not even paying attention to it. Instead of that they are just bringing up policies to put Canadians on the financial strain. Singh's reflection on the constant fear of losing one's home is only political and does not highlights a pervasive issue in Canadian society for him, an issue that he and Trudeau must aim to address head-on. As the conversation around affordable housing in Canada reaches a fever pitch, Singh's proposal stands out and will be helpful to Canadians or not only time will tell that. It demands attention, dialogue, and action, action that has been sorely lacking under the leadership of Justin Trudeau. Thus proposal is highlighted as a moment of hope by Singh but as will it really bring hope. Amidst the broader housing struggle, last month saw Premier David Abbey announce a significant investment in British Columbia's affordable housing, different from that of Singh proposal. This initiative, directly countering the negative trend under Trudeau's administration, marks a step towards tangible improvements in housing affordability. This example of proactive government intervention showcases the potential for meaningful change, a contrast to the stagnation and regression seen under Trudeau's leadership. For Canadians caught in the throes of the housing crisis, Singh's proposal and the success in BC will this policy by Singh act as a beacon of hope only time will tell. It signals that with targeted action and commitment, the tide can be turned against the challenges of rising rents and the dwindling supply of affordable homes. Before wrapping up, A reminder to follow Scoop Canada for all the latest updates and insightful analyses on Canadian politics. Head over to scoopcanada.com and become part of the conversation today. See you next time, as we continue to explore the unfolding narrative of Canada's housing crisis and the call to action that could change the course of history.